I'm currently on the very last level. The hardest difficulty. I need the most luck possible to go in my favor. The odds of my success are really low. Like really, really, really low. So if you're betting on my success, um, you know, not super likely. But if I do succeed, you'll get a lot out of it. This map is already terrible. Um, this has the most rests, but it has two elites. The amount of question marks I can get is really shit. It's almost not worth continuing compared to just resetting and hoping for a better map. Wow, and I instantly got bad RNG. Wow. I got one card removal though, but I'm not sure one card removal is worth how she this map is. Why is it the last day of Slayer Spire? Because I want to go back to doing mainly GTA stuff. Uh, I'm trying my damnedest to have some strength. Doom and gloom? Yeah. I guess we're going darkness, which is not nice. Ori Kalkum, okay, Ori Kalkum is good this early. No, I don't want to become cursed. Curse, bad. If I had a shop coming up, I might have taken a bit. Playing this game in Noita were never good for me. Like, in some ways I'd prefer to play... I, I misplayed, I felt great I had Ori Kalkum. I'd rather play Noisa, but it's uh, much more of a time investment. I got, I've got nothing else to do in it. Yes, we're going orbs. So not taking any focus. Hmm. Yeah, so I uh, don't need to defend here. Because you get Ori Kalkum. Ori Kalkum is you get six block if you have no block. Uh, yep, need darkness. So I desperately need card upgrades. Yeah. So regardless of what the boss is, upgraded Doom and Gloom is the best. As in, like, there's other cards I can upgrade, but upgraded Doom and Gloom has the most. Yeah. This is what I was hoping for. Uh, wasn't hoping for this draw though. Really game? This is how you want to play it, eh? I'll see how it is. Get exactly 10 block though with the uh, plated armor. Still didn't get the card that I wanted. Uh, I don't think it's worth doing darkness. It's just going to be me safeguarding my HP until I can uh, use my AoE a bunch. And then use Darkness. Because Darkness is good for these guys because it targets one specific one, which is the one with the lowest HP. Mm-hmm. 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 What time do I usually stream? I don't have a usual time, but I'm going to have one soon. So, this will kill this one and hit that one. And I almost killed that one too. Darkness, I, I wouldn't say nice, it's usually too slow. Whenever you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it, that's really good. And I get an upgraded self repair, okay, that's, this is good. Do I want to upgrade a card here or take... <sighs> if it's... The sleepy guy, I'm fine. If it's the big guy, I'm in a bunch of pain. I think I'm fine to smith a card. Murky Hourglass, that's good. So I, uh, at the start of my turn, I deal three damage to everyone. Okay, it's a sleepy dude, good. Um, unfortunately, I can't use Doom or Gloom, or he'll wake up. 
Yeah. So just wait some turns until the darkness orb is prepared. Wait, what? Oh, because I have Mercury Hourglass. I hate myself. Oh, no. Uh, still fine. Maybe I could use the weakness person. I should use the weakness person. Um. So I'm just kind of flustered because I didn't expect that to happen. So he's dead and uh, I could have reduced reduce more damage than that. Yeah, whatever. Um, definitely could have played that better. Always start with an attack. Do I always want to start with Doom and Gloom? Maybe at this point, but... Yeah, I guess I do. Starting with AoE is fine. Who's the boss? Uh, so Melter doesn't really work here. Upgraded Recursion is something I do need, though. Uh, so much that I'm tempted to upgrade it, but I do have a Blessing of the Forge, so... Oh, yeah. Worst comes to worst in the final boss, I'll, uh, use Blessing of the Forge. AoE, brah! Yeah, it's fine. Woo! Oh, that's tough. Stag Discharge kind of fucks up the Darkness Orbs. I think I want Defragment here. It doesn't rely on me getting hit, you know? That was, that was a tough choice to make, though. Um, I guess I'm just taking 5 damage here. So... Can't kill him by one damage. Uh, hologram. Hologram is just good, especially when I have an upgraded recursion, right? Then I can recursion, hologram, recursion. Or same with dual cast. Charge battery is also good though. Hmm. Take hologram. This question mark better be good because I got so few. I couldn't. I didn't find anything. Are you for real, dude? At least the boss didn't come. So I'm afraid that I'm gonna actually gonna heal here. I'm afraid that I won't be able to do enough damage to him to pop here. So hopefully I draw like a bunch of cards I want to upgrade. Zap and Hologram being upgraded would be good, but Darkness and Recursion being upgraded would be even better. I can bring back Doom and Gloom, which is nice. Yeah, I guess, just so I don't waste mana this turn. Yeah, so we got Darkness and Recursion to upgrade. So I want to... Darkness, then dual cast. Why did I worry, chat? Wow! It didn't even split! I should have gone for an upgrade. I just, my, my cards just came out so perfectly there. And I had the blessing of the forge for the upgrades there. Ah, that's nuts. Yeah, multicast. Multicast is uh, the golden card for darkness. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Yes. Ah, where's the mana? Where the mana? Elites and bosses aren't the only thing that you're concerned about in these future acts. You want mana all the time. I have to take it though. Slaver's Collar. Especially when I have multicast. Where the mana? 
Um, so, normal fights is what I'm trying to avoid here. I have so much gold that I need at least one shop. This path here with the question marks. So many normal fights going up here, though. I can get four rests. One, two, three, four. Going down that path. Which is the most rests I can get anywhere. I have a choice of this path or this path, and I guess I want this one for the lack of elite. Because even if I have more mana against the elites... I mean, it depends if I need this rest early or not, but we'll see. But one normal fight. And I guess I'll skip this question mark so I can get this rest here. Hmm. Scary. These question marks better be good. So I still have a lot of things I need upgraded. Um, I'll just use recursion. Like, I could hologram into dual cast and use that, but no. No. The reason why recursion's good is it um, keeps your darkness orbs level of strength. This guy's thing is the more... Um, the more non-attacks you use, the more days gets put in your deck. Uh, I don't think I want to defend here at all. I'm hoping I just pick up multicast. And every day is... Makes that less likely. Fuck. Didn't get it. <sighs> so multicast kills him next turn. The most defense I can do is 6, though. So I can put one more garbage card into my deck. I mean, need to, though. Our text-to-speech doesn't work for our subs now. Multicasts. Skim. Do I want skim? When I only have three mana? Not really. But, uh... Making dual cast and recursion one. Yeah, I guess an upgrade skim. Just one. Uh... I don't care about strength. Well, actually... Obtaining... So, starting with three strength for the first turn guarantees that I have... 17 AoE with Doom and Gloom. Is that worth two transformations? I don't think so. I don't think it is. Uh, Shuffle is fine. Aggregate isn't good. But I basically removed a card. So this isn't too bad. Guaranteed curse. And I do not have a shop. Except for a bajillion years from now. Now we're not taking it. So my Mercury Hourglass will do some work here. Um, so this actually gives me quite a bit of mana. Okay, well, a little bit of mana. <laughs> so Defragments... Can I kill here? Maybe if I want to use all my potions, maybe. What music do I listen to? I actually found some interesting music today from Donkey's video. We talked about um, Guilty Gear, and the themes from that remind me of being a teenager in the music, their genre. Let me just do recursion here. Okay, so I'm going to use the potion here. Cut down the damage I take. Yeah. 
Uh, no, it's just there's too many people are using it. So the server's overloaded. So loads of slow. Go for the eyes. Tempting, but not in this deck. Yeah. So I want the question mark or the card upgrade. I want the card upgrade. Okay, this is a decent opening start here. I'm frail, which sucks. So this gets me two mana. Um, does he die? Ah, uh, I can kill him. Uh, yes, yeah, so he dies because he doesn't get armor after each hit, right? Oh, that was very good. I didn't self repair. Shit. I had self-repair? Did I? Fuck. Whoops. It's my bad. I'm gonna put up my hand and say, it's my bad. So, uh... When's the next Chaos GTA stream? Should've been today! It'll be tomorrow. Thank you, Race, for the $3. Saw your video didn't play, but Media Share is not. <sighs> we'll be soon, though. So I think Recursion being cheap is the best, but so is Darkness being, hey, uh... Hey Matt, are you interested in the GTA 5 mission randomizer that just came out? There's a GTA 5 mission randomizer? Uh, where is it? I saw Hugo playing it. Uh, then yeah. Um, it, any chance you can find it for me and just give it to me on Discord? Then yeah, I'll I'll do a thing of it. Um, so I think upgrading recursion. So this is the harder fight. I get the extra mana though. So I think I skim first. So I got recursion. Um, I'm getting six block. Do I just get self repair out of my deck? Do I use an energy potion? I think I limit my damage that I take. Nice shoes use Zap, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this just cycles itself. Damage-wise. Yeah, so... I guess I use the energy potion. Yeah, this didn't go so bad. Just had one really bad turn. Did I really get no damage? Thank you. <laughs> um, at the start of each combat, discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. That is interesting. Ooh, defragment. Doesn't make things faster, though. So, uh, I don't have to rest here, but I'm going to. Starting combat with one strength, that's not particularly interesting. Um, this gives me more mana, but without additional cards to use it with, it's kind of trash. Recursion is not, yeah, we'll keep this for mana. So we'll use this. I guess we're just taking a fuck ton of damage. Does sound like something I'd do. Disappointing. 
I want to get self repair off here. Well, it sucks. I'm pretty screwed, really. This is gonna be a lot of damage. I gotta hope for a really nice darkness orb combo here. Which I can definitely do. Um So I this then this then this then this Yeah Loop yeah, I guess. It's just so tempting because they're all upgraded. I have enough HP here to go these question marks without doing the rest here. Remove a card from my deck or upgrade all the strikes and defense. I love removing cards, but upgrading all the strikes and defense would be really nice. The main thing I'm missing right now is defense. Oh, a shop and then another shop. Interesting. If you lost HP during previous turn, trigger all the pass the passive ability of all orbs at the start of your turn. It's not really super great for darkness. <laughs> Capacitor is also interesting. Like in general, you don't want 50 orbs stacked. You want to be able to trigger your orbs very quickly. So I don't think I want Capacitor. Uh, we'll see, Josh. We'll see. Bullseye is important. <sighs> I don't think emotion ship's worth it. I think I just want to remove a card and try the next shot. And the card I'm removing is Zap or Strike. I guess Strike, because Zap can proc um, Darkness Orbs. Let's go to the next shot. Do I want to rest here? Or upgrade darkness or multicasts? I guess I better rest here. It's, it's not... Get greedy. Start each combat with three additional orb slots. I mean... It's not good for darkness. <laughs> now I think I just remove a card and save my gold. And I need my defense. Aggregate. Aggregate is either good, a dead card, or bad, depending upon which hand I draw it in. So I think I'm going to move aggr Aggregate. Um, I might take a regen potion. Now I might just take potions here to guarantee that I win. And then maybe smith a card? Yeah, smithing hologram. Yeah. Then I'll start with a region potion here. The region potion better have gone off. So, as much as I want self repair out of my deck, I don't want to start with that. Um. I think I did good, okay. So defragments, this. I don't want to remove my orbs immediately. Doing the first orb's fine. But like I don't want a hologram. I can hologram recursion. Yeah. So he's already put the debuff on me. Interesting. So I guess I just wanna... I'm gonna do a bit of damage here, but not enough. 
I mainly just want... Yeah, I'll defend here. Yeah, and get loop and then defend, okay. Um, so it's building our little darkness orb here. Like, loop procs this twice. And so it's going up heaps every turn. Um, want a hologram skim? I'm not ready to dual cast it. Uh, recursion I can do because it doesn't lose its charge. So now if I just get multicasts, I win. Die. That was quite a chunky Darkness Orb. <laughs> Echo form. Ah, oh, it's so... Like, it, it is good, it's just getting it out is the problem. I do have an energy potion, but like, because remember, I only have four energy when I'm, uh, I'm against elites and bosses. I think it's worth it because it's upgraded. Because I can skip over it. At worst, it's one dead card. At best, it's like a game changer. So I'm not getting more energy again, which sucks. Because I, I need rest sites. If you end your turn with any empty orb slots, channel one frost. This is actually good. Because it works with Ori Calcum. And I have uh, 2D fragments. And the main thing I'm trying to do is survive. Yeah. I mean, two card removals, looking at it, I was like, what am I going to remove anyway? I mean, I could remove things, zap and defend, but... And it does fill up the orb slots as well, there's Joseph Tree, yeah. Hey. Someone did a tier 3 sub, actually, and I didn't thank them. I think I just said them as a normal... Who tier 3 subbed? Oh, Diesel. Is Diesel still here? Probably not. I'll send him a message later, maybe. Um, hello, Kindred. Um, thank you, Oreo, for the 500 bits. Thank you. Mess to thank you for the 500 bits. I definitely will check that out as well. Thank you. Racer, thank you for three dollars again. Skies, Bajak, thank you guys for subs. Thank you. Um, so elites are still scary, but they're not... They are, they, they are scary. Uh, I just want the place with the most rests. There is no real good path with a lot of rests. Ah, uh, well... I mean, because normal fights are also scary. Because I lack mana. So this path here, through these question marks, into here, and then up here. But two elites back to back, you know? But that gives me the most question marks, gives me a shop. I think that's the way of it. So... I'm not defending myself here sufficiently. Loop and defragment are too slow. Recursion's free. Hmm. 
This is gonna leave me with one block. That's unfortunate. Um... I like having a free potion slot. So, I can bring back Doom and Gloom. Which is definitely the play. But do I have to take damage here? Yes. Two damage worth of that. I uh, could have played that better, I think. Do I want boot sequence? As shown there, kind of. Yeah, I guess. Oh, this is good. Although I'm about to go into a shop. Remove a card and upgrade a random card is just good value. Yeah, there's only so many cards to upgrade anyway. So I'm removing Zap, I guess. Because, I mean, uh, Frozen Core fills my orb slots anyway. Boot sequence got upgraded? That's not particularly good. Storm isn't particularly good. Anchor is probably better than a card removal. Especially with the normal fights, which is the thing that's most scary, they usually start by doing attacks. Yeah, I think I get anchor. I'm not I'm not working on passes right now. So given that I already have the block. This is a very hard fight for me. Um, so I need this to go really, really high, really, really fast. And I guess loop is the best way to do that. So yeah, so it's really high. I just need to grab multi now. Um, if I recursion and do damage... Then the Frost Orb moves in here, which is bad. But I could Recursion and then do it again. I, I want to use Self-Repair. Yeah, I guess I just wait on Multicast. There's no reason to get cheeky. Didn't get it, but he's dead regardless. Yeah. It's a good fight. Another recursion? I don't think I need another recursion. No. Yeah. When's GTA? I'm sorry, not today. I'm just buggered. I'm eating too much fast food. I'm just not waking up feeling well. I'm getting there, guys. I swear to you. Another shop? I only got 14 gold. Another loop would have been nice. Uh... I can't imagine healing here for 10 HP. Do I want to upgrade Darkness or Multicast? I think Multicast, because it's just a free proc of the orb. Because surely an entire proc of the orb is better than Darkness, which just boosts the orb once. Yeah. Um. Finesse? Who am I versing at the end here? More than likely... More than likely I'm versing the, uh... Time person. Because I'm versing two bosses, remember? If you have no attacks in your hand, draw two cards. Uh... I only have one attack. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And this screws Zori Kalkum anyway. Yeah, so I guess impatience, right? Yeah. So we're going up this way. Oh, that's so scary. Shuriken shit. 
Can't even use it. Could just grab the key bit. Right, most orb triggers a pa is passive additional time. That's that's good. That was a, a free chest though, you know, not too bad. Um, I <laughs> requires attack card. I've got one attack card, but it's I guess because bottled. I guess I'm losing one defend, which isn't particularly nice. Uh, this is interesting. This hand is actually fine. Um, I guess I won't use boot sequence here. So we do this, this, this. I guess I will use impatience. But now I can't use self repair, but, um, I need a echo form. There it is. Uh, I'm taking a little bit of damage here. Actually, not that much, because, uh, no, actually, I'm taking none. I could proc this once, but no. Look how fast it's boosting itself. It's crazy. Um, I could recursion here. Yeah, I guess. Guess I recursion, and then I can pass over the orb. I'm probably getting multicast next turn. And multicast should just kill him, right? Yeah. I didn't get it. It's the last card in the deck. Why? I can get it with Gambler's Brew. Um, does, does he die with... If I use it on self-repair, does he still die? He doesn't. Yeah, so... I'm saying, do I... Well, no. Um, so it's, um, 354? Plus 18 with recursion? No. So we have. Yeah, which gambit's bro? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it was plus one! Ah, oh, me, I could have done it. Right. It's plus one. I could have done. I could have done self repair because I upgraded it. Shit. Well, there goes 10 heal that I could have done. That's unfortunate. I don't think upgrade efficient is worth it for me. No. Like, even if I upgrade it. Well... It's basically like a full reset. I have to, I, like, I'd have to upgrade it. And there isn't a guarantee I'm going to be able to upgrade it. Yeah, me too, Pred. I'm sorry, dude. Okay. Um, don't need this. Drawing anyway. Loop is good. Got self-repair. I do have a explosion potion. He's gonna make it so I can't defend well. Uh... Ooh. Yes, yeah, so we, we may as well use Echo Form here and just use this potion. So we do this. Wait, what? Where'd the second hit go? Oh! It's not percentage, it's who has the least HP and because he has armor? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. And I fucked up there. That actually reduced my armor. 
Okay, I couldn't use other Calcum. That sucks. Wow. Wow. I thought it was percentage. It's a uh, raw number. Hmm. Okay, so. What to do now? I am echo forming. Do I echo form hologram to bring back defragments and boot sequence? Just to keep myself from dying? Yeah, I guess. It's certainly a plan. And then we just wait for orbs. Uh, why did I draw twice with that? That was dumb. Echo form! So I'm just moving over the orbs. I guess I'll kill one. I'll just reboot and hope for... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Ah, he didn't die. Oh. Oops. I should have waited for self-repair! Bullseye? Yeah, I guess bullseye's worth it. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, so I need a little bit more damage in the AoE department to kill these guys. Which I don't really have. I have one more mana. I can skim into my all my zero cost mana. I guess I want Echo Form. But then I can't use my other stuff. Yeah. I get wounds, which sucks. But my deck is fairly large, so it's not as big a deal as it normally would be. So I'm one damage off here. Can't hologram, which sucks. I can multicast, which is a ridiculous amount of damage. But then I'm taking a lot of damage. This guy on one HP is really terrible. Um... So what I can do is I can do I can do it like a heap of things. So like I don't think it's the best play necessarily, but we do this and then we do this. And then I do one defend. Use the potion here. One defend and then multicast. Yeah. I uh, finally got Echo Form at the exact wrong time. Nailed it. Um, I can't use it. It's a good thing I have Regal Pillow. So now... Impatience... Now I get Echo Form. Do I want it, though? Like... Ugh, it's tough. Because if I use it, then I can't put up a Darkness Orb. I've got four Focus and two Loop. Nah, I'm doing it.
We've got heaps of defense here. I was really hoping to get uh, Doom and Gloom. Didn't get it. So I can skim into Doom and Gloom, but now it doesn't double. Can't use it twice. Wow, this is this is the worst fucking hand I could have imagined. <laughs> oh no! I'm getting heaps of block, but. Hologram into multicast just so I can survive a bit longer. Goes off twice, also get dual cast. So now I'm guaranteed to get Doom and Gloom, which kills all the minions. Um, they want to reboot. Almost there. I'm sure there had to be a better plan than that, but it just it just seemed like the most consistent plan. So this is just the loss. So should yeah okay. Start each combat with one focus. That's good. Another defragment. If I end up getting the anti power boss, I will die. With or without that, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm already blocked, so we don't need these. Uh, I just need zero cost cards, I suppose. None of those. We still have to do this, though. Ah, uh, I'm not fully blocked, actually. Yeah, I was dumb. Oh, wait, I have tons of focus. No, we're fine. I forgot that I'm taking hits on both those two, so I did take damage there, which I didn't need to do. Uh, I need to wait out Echo Form. That's a shitty hand. Get a lot of block from the orbs, though. Um, so we need to wait out Echo Form so I can use... Or do I, like... I am resting next. I'm resting next. Yeah, so I... And I'm resting for, like, fuck tons, so I don't need to wait it out. Um... I'm just gonna self-repair multicast. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all that defense. It's hard to do damage. I, um, arguably having a capacitor would have actually worked for me. I could have probably killed him there, it's fine. Um, as in, like, having, so having more orb slots would have worked for Frozen Core. Didn't think about that. Which would have really helped for this boss. I got a strength potion, guys. Oh, starting with echo form, perfect. So, Yen getting a darkness orb is fine. Um, echo form defragment to get them out of my deck. Yeah, may as well use the strength potion, because why not? Wait, does it carry over the next fight? Maybe it doesn't. Okay, so now we're in a bit of a pickle. Um, I want to up the power, because it helps with the orb. The more powers I can double, the better off I'm going to be. So I can dual cast this to get like a fuck ton of block, which is... Using, I'd have to use Bullseye on these guys like 800 times. So 
So skim. So loop is at the beginning of my turn. So going for it with hologram is not the best move. Dual cast loses me the orb. How much is this? 30? I think I just defend and keep the orb. Oh, wait, yeah, because the second orb comes in now. Oh, well, there's nothing I really want to use. Okay, so 1D fragments to be duped again. May as well get this out of my deck. Multicast does not matter. <laughs> Look at this fucking block! It's 39 block for free that can't be stopped. And then I have loop on top of it. <laughs> well, uh... I'll, I'll do loop too. I need orbs though, so... Do orb. <laughs> Loop is going off four times for 13 block each, and it's literally impossible to stop. Uh, <laughs> um, the problem is when... So I, I need to make a free orb slot here. So move these along, and then I'll make an orb slot to do some damage. Um, because I need I need an orb slot so I can get a frost up. There's nothing I want to cast. Because I just want to wait for my darkness orbs. I guess recursion. I need multicast here. There it is. Kablamo! <laughs> Destroyed! Okay, we did we didn't get the person who screws us with powers, which is good. So what I need now is echo form. That's it. If I draw echo form, one easy street. Didn't draw echo form. So I have to use Bullseye here, so I can use Impatience to hopefully draw Echo Form. Still didn't draw Echo Form. Now... The hit is gonna come, and it's gonna hurt a lot. Defragment and Loop will help me there, but then I can't Echo Form, Defragment and Loop. I think I have to. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we, well, well, the cards we're drawing suggest it's fine to risk it. Wow, still didn't get Echo Form. Oh my god. See, just, I know I can get a lot of block. So I can hollow boot sequence. I only got five cards I can cast here. So got echo form. Um, and I want to draw anything that gives me block. Well, uh, the problem is I'm only going to have two cards to use next turn. So I'm basically screwed. So I can use three cards here. So we're definitely doing Defragment. 
and uh, multicast, clearly. Mm -hmm. So we've got Echo Form up, and we've duped Defragment. So we can now dupe this. So it's, uh... So we're already blocked fully. I may as well wait on loop as well. Um, get a Darkness Orb up in there. Uh, I won't bother doing Impatience. Save some cards. Because every time I do 12 cards, he gets 2, uh, two strength. Um, so I... Doing Bullseye is pointless. This moves over the Darkness Orb. Darkness Orb isn't perfectly buffed yet. Um, that's fine. So do loop. So I need to use three cards here. One, two, three. So this will proc two more times. Now we just need to draw a multicast again. So I can dupe this. So these are giving just an insane amount of block. Um, drawing multicast right now is not what I want. So I'll get rid of the slime. And I won't bother blocking. Losing one card here. If I get multicast, I win. Well, actually, I can just win with dual cast. Yes! And people say darkness decks suck. What a deck! Nothing about this deck seems cheap. It just is perfect. I think, like, Fro Frozen Core, though, really saved it. Frozen Core was insane, but it was mainly because I had so much additional focus. This was the first run today, wasn't it? How many people believed? Yeah. So, 2.7 million was bet against me, 370 was bet in favor of me. 12%? That's a lot higher than normal. Finally, the believers get paid. <laughs> and I'm like my last game too. That's, that's amazing. Uh. <laughs> and it's done. It's done. But I never played the Watcher. I don't want to. Now, I guess we'll come back another day. As in, like, a million years from now, when I want to play Slay the Spire again, I'll come back. Thanks for watching, and while I'm sure you're eager to get to the endless other videos on this channel, I'd like to take a moment of your time to wish you all the best.